Welcome back. Today marks International Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. So we may as well abide by today's <laughs> rules. Charlo, the chef, joins us in the kitchen. Charlo, what a day to be alive. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, <laughs> when I got the memo, I mean, this did is you just, know this is the stuff. Existed. I think we won the lotto, did we? I'll tell you what. <laughs> we'll do it tonight. We'll do it tonight. <laughs> what do you it's making, a, a peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. Oh, Lord. Very, very simple and great recipe. Have preheated your oven to 180, mm -hmm. 160 fan, gas four. Mm -hmm. t eight to 10 minutes for your cookies, That's cooking time. That's okay. all, yeah. And just a word on when you're he preheating your oven. Make sure you have your oven on for around 10 minutes before you put anything into it. There's no point in putting it on for one minute. It has to be really, really hot inside the cavity, okay. okay? So let's start with the cookie dough. Very simple. We have 100 grams of uh, light brown sugar. We have 100 grams of caster sugar and 100 grams of uh, unsalted butter. <laughs> very important, me. bless you. Very important that the, the butter is at room temperature. So we've no issue in, issue in the studio here with the lights. So we have Absolutely. that nice and soft. It has to be soft, that's the okay. key. Then we go then with our sugar. That's 100 grams. And these are going to be, they're not going to snap these bad boys. No, are these they are going, going to be, be nice and sort of chewy, chewy. okay? But it's, that's all That's all determined by the cook, the cooking method, all right? Okay. Now, if you don't have a little uh, super duper machine like, like so, you can use, you know, your hand whisk? Yeah. Okay. If you don't have a hand whisk, you can use an ordinary whisk, but obviously you have to make sure the butter is at room temperature, very, very soft, okay? okay? So we're just going to combine all this together. I have to have, as well, I have a little bat of uh, melted chocolate. And it's very important, while that's mixing there, it's very important that we don't have the, um, the, we don't have the bowl touching the water at the bottom, okay? So you've got water and then you just have it on a little boil, rolling Exactly, boil. rolling boil, yeah. Okay, and that's, that's melting away there. We need that to decorate our, our uh, cookies. And what have you got in the bowl, Charlie? Just dark chocolate and white chocolate? Just white chocolate. chocolate. You can not use dark chocolate if you want, but we're going with milk chocolate today. Okay. Milk, milk chocolate chips. Lovely. Okay, so now that's combined, as you can see. So we're just going to turn it up. Now we're going to crack an egg in here. A little tip when you're doing your egg is always crack it into a little bowl first so you can see if there's any shell there. Yeah, okay, so you can take your shell out, but we, 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 we've, we've done perfect. This is the perfect egg, huh? Of course it is. It's all going right for us today. Now, so far, <laughs> so far, so good, yeah. <laughs> so we just gently combine your egg. And how many will this mix? What will this You're going to yield about 12. 12. 12. So okay. making a sandwich, it'll make six sandwiches. Lovely. Make six sounds. Is that okay for you? Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. Now here we go with some uh, flour. So 150 gram of um, self-raising flour. Okay. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pinch of salt. And you know, people will say, "Why are you putting the salt in?" It's just that chemical reaction the salt gives yeah. to a product, and it just gives a little bit of a lift and um, flavour. And flavour. Okay. So now you should, you should, your mix should resemble a nice sort of pasty. Um, shouldn't be too wet. Yeah. We're just going to slow that down. And now we're going to add in, we're going to spike in two tablespoons of, co two tablespoons of coke, coke powder. Lovely. And now we're sort of getting to the, to the good parts, uh -huh. you know. Now it's the good stuff, Now it's Charlo. the good stuff. Well, we have got uh, 75 grams of peanut butter. Oh, now. Right. Smooth, this is smooth peanut butter, but crunchy as well. It all depends on your preference. But if you're going to start making cookies, two, two tablespoons is roughly 75 grams. If you're going to start making cookies, you can, you know, you can make one one batch smooth, one batch crunchy. It just gives yeah. you an extra crunch. But we're actually putting peanuts on top. All right. Now, we'll mess around with this. Big experiment. So now we have a beautiful cookie dough. Now we're going to add, we've okay. added in our peanut butter. Now we're going to spike it with some chocolate chips. Gorgeous. Bring them Here on. we go. And these are, uh, these are 150 gram of milk chocolate chips. All yeah. you need now is to combine and that's job done. So that's yeah. like when two you, minutes. When you say chocolate chips, can you, can you cut up a bar or do you buy yeah, the actual chocolate? You can cut up a bar, no problem. Okay. Um, again, I just bought um, the chocolate chips in the, in the local supermarket. In the bacon again, section, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Lovely. If you have, if you have um, a bar in your larder and you, you need, you know, you, you can chop it up, no problem. That's right. absolutely great. That's a great tip, great idea. Um, so we just scrape down the bowl here. And then we're left with our cookie dough. Okay. So what we do now is we just scrape it down with our spatula, just to loosen it up. And here's a little tip now. We have our greaseproof paper, greaseproof mm -hmm. tray. Always use when you're making cookies a flat tray. Okay. Whole idea now is for per perfection. Wow. This is what we're looking that's at. That's your middle wall. name, Charlo. That's my middle name, I wish. Look at you <laughs> with an ice cream scoop. So an ice cream scoop or a ball hopper. And I oh. have a small little one, right? Oh. Now what we're going to do, again, you can use a spoon. We're just going to take the exact amount. Okay. Pop it on our tray. And if you, if you leave it at the exact amount and no, on the, uh, no um, coming over the sides, you're going to have the perfect, perfect cookie. Okay. circle. 
And again, if we're making a sandwich, this all will help us. So we're going to go five of these guys. Again, this will yield 12. Okay. But just for our cooking segment here, we're going to go five. And what we're going to do, we're going to pop on top then a few more little of the chocolate chips. Oh, and you're inside. leaving a good bit of space between them, Charlie, because they are going to spread. Exactly, out, exactly. And then what we do is we're just going to pop on top a little few, because you'll see when I take the, pop the ones out of the oven, you'll see what I mean when we do this. So we're going to just pop a few of the chocolate chips. Now, you know what's great here? Mm -hmm. A Twix bar chopped up, a Mars bar, oh, Snickers Lord. bar. This Crunchy. Is, Crunchy. Bit of honeycomb. And this is when you pop, you can pop them on. So use your imagination, oh, folks. Yeah. Preheated oven, 10 minutes. Make sure your oven's 10 minutes on. Yeah. You're popping in, so 180 here. Each oven is different, so 180. Now here's the thing. After eight to 10 minutes, if you take them out after eight minutes, they're gonna look as if they're underdone. Let them cool on a wire rack, and that, they're gonna be really, really fudgy. Oh, if you like yeah. to bring them on a little bit more, and a little bit of a bite in them, leave them in for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. And if you like to, these ones are prepared earlier, and I have them cooling down, and the oven's not on there, okay? Yeah. But if you want to have them a little bit more crunchy, bring them on for 12 minutes. Why, wow, very good. So, uh, you're dead right, look, they're all identical. Perfect all cookies. identical, perfect shape. So that's that lad to us when, when we're doing our sandwich. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do, with our, we bring in our little chocolate, <laughs> our melted chocolate over our bain-marie. And oh, we're just going to drizzle then, okay? You just drizzle your, your, your cookies with some chocolate. And what I'm going to do next as well is, and this is where you get the kids involved. Yeah, Okay. You get creative. You've all, you've all been there. Have a few salted peanuts. I'm just going to chop these up for decoration. And I have mauled and sea salt. Do you have a fan of sea salt? Oh, I use it all the time. Oh, mauled and yeah, sea salt is, is just, isn't it amazing? Great product. Yeah, it's fantastic. So what we're going to do is just add a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick, a little finishing touch too. So we're just going to add a little bit of crunchy Look peanuts that. to the top. You let that set. You let that set. I have a bit of mauled on. I don't overdo the mauled on, but this is just really gives it a little bit of a background flavor. So you have a minute left, chef. Yeah, a minute left, background flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna use these ones here, these four here. Salt the caramel and I have, um, I've salt the caramel and I have vanilla, vanilla ice cream. I'll just Excellent. get it. So Simon, I'm gonna give you a salt the caramel. Oh, all right then, Charlotte, go okay. on then, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give you a salt the caramel. So again, oh, turn, your, yeah. turn your cold, um, cookies upside down. You're going to go on the flat side. You're being very generous now. Okay, and we're going to go down with some, uh, for Elaine, we're going to give Elaine some vanilla. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, now here's the thing, here's a little secret. Yeah. I've crushed bonbon creams, oh. pink wafers and ginger nuts. Yes. Simply top oh. and press down. And you're going to roll it, are you? Oh, okay, yeah. which is your preference, Simon? I'll go for the chocolate, the bourbon. Bourbon, so we're going to roll it in bourbon. My word. Voila. Oh, and then Elaine, okay. we're going to get some, some vanilla. Got well, I've got pink, pink is pink for yourself, pink wafers. Is that OK? Well, I, oh, I'm yeah. not fuzzy at all. It all looks Look good this. to me. Look at that. Look at that. And that's our, that's our breakfast sandwich today. Here's a healthier breakfast you couldn't have <laughs> in the ice morning. ice cream for breakfast day. Charlo, fantastic recipe as always, brother. Thanks a million, folks. Well Thanks, done. Charlo. Right, full recipe details are, of course, up the website, or you can check out charlotteschef.com for more from the man himself. Up next, a man who could probably only eat ice cream for the first time in years after announcing his retirement from diving this week, Olympian Oliver Dingley. Are you there, Ollie? He's no. here. Yeah. Great. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs>